today, we are going to speak about three main subjects. For first, uh, we can start with Bideski Group. Secondly, with, uh, with our case study for the Erin Holding, with Bideski product and CTP as for the cleaning, uh, for the cleaning system for the environmental. As a start, Bideski is the mother company, more than 100 years of experience. We have uh, five different sectors. Our Bideski handling is responsible about the bulk handling, and CTP is the engineering and manufacturing for more than 40 years of experience for treatment and gas filtration technology. Recently, we added a new company to our group, it's ONT, uh, more than 50 years experience of designing for conveying systems for the bulk material, for sure. This is our offices in, uh, in all over the world. We have thousands of references. Our three offices in one of them in Badawa, it's Bideski, and in Genoa, Bideski Handling, and our uh, office in Miami, Bideski America, and uh, Bideski Dubai, with a lot of agents. Now we'll start with our case study for Enin Holding Mitsim in Turkey. Bideski and CTB are taking part in the construction of a new greenfield cement plant in Turkey for production capacity 10,500 uh, ton per day clinker, approximately 3.5 million of ton of clinker. Bideski will supply all the machinery for raw materials handling as outlined below. We'll start with the with, uh, remix storages for the limestone. This is the the circular storage that we have. This, uh, this comprises, we have two circular uh, limestone pre-homogenization plant with loofing and slewing stacker and bridge the Kramer, each with the total storage uh, approximately 50,000 ton and 2,000 stacking and uh, 700 for reclaiming capacity. The bulk density, uh, 1.4 ton uh, cubic meter, the grain size, uh, 95% is then 80, 100%, 100. The resting angle, 38. Uh, diameter of the rails is 90, and uh, 50,000, as we mentioned before. Moving to the additive storage for the raw mill. For the clay and the iron ore, clay or the sand, depends. An additive storage facility here, compromising, we have four. 10,000 areas will store the material in both raw mill and the cement mill, iron ore, clay, or sand at one side, and the gypsum and the additive at the other side. Stacking will carry out uh, via a belt stacking system with a capacity 2,000 ton per hour. The iron ore, clay, or sand will be reclaimed by 250 ton per, per hour side semi-porter reclaimer from the additive storage. I'm gonna show you the pictures later. 300 ton uh, belt conveyor will transport the iron ore Clay or sand to the raw mills, feeding hoppers, dust filters will be installed for sure from CTP. And this is our same portal for the uh, NN holding. This is a picture. And for the additive storage for the cement mill, the gypsum and additive are stored uh, in two multi box longitudinal uh, sheet with 250 side semi portal reclaimer. Uh, we transport the gypsum and the additive to the cement mills, feeding hoppers. And also for the dust filters will be installed also by CTP. This is the picture showing on, and you can see here how we use the space with a retaining wall and some lintel from the inside, so we increase the capacity of the storage. Retaining wall and the den. And for the coal, for sure, Everybody is going for the cold. Cold pre-blending storage and get to storage to 25,000 ton capacity of core pre-blending. A 500 ton tripper car installed to stack the coal and two 100 ton per hour side semi portal reclaimers reclaim the coal. Uh, 0.8 ton cubic meter, the grain size 0.5. The angle, this is the angle 38 to 30, 35 to 38 between the bed cook and the coal. The total stored volume, 12,500. This is a picture showing the coal reclaimer. Right now, moving to the ship loader that we have. We installed a ship loader uh, for the cement and the clinker. 
the bulk density that we have for the clinker 1.5